explain my method for the sponge glide. Now the sponge glide is used to reach that island over there, so you can basically just skip the entirety of the lagoon. So how I'm going to do this is usually how it works is I, I use my damage boost to get that sock and then when I fall down I line up my camera facing this direction. If you look closely you can see there is a bit of a crease between Spongebob's heel and the front of his foot on the right. Um, you'll probably notice this better if you're playing your own game because I'm not sure how the quality will be affected when this video is uploaded to YouTube. but. I usually might line it up with the middle of his foot, so that way the middle of his foot is here, lining up, so the, the outmost edge of this red circle is running through the center of his foot. Now, I'm looking at the bus stop in the background on the island, and I usually line it up so, if you, can, if you notice on, on that bus stop, there's a ring and then there's a blue light to the left of it. So I want to line up this, the pole all the way in the back and to the right to cover everything except for that light. And see, that's, that's a pretty good one. But you want to line it up optimally. You want as much of that light as possible, but none of the ring. Kind of like that, I guess. Uh, kind of takes a little bit to set up. This is just my method, it isn't optimal, but it's just, this is just how I do it. So, that should be good. Now, you're going to jump backward as far as possible by jumping twice fully and then using a bubble wand to stall. And once that happens, I'm going to then be propelled into the tube above me. I'm going to wait a little bit to feel a bit of a push, and then I'm going to slam into the tube and this should activate the sponge glide. Now, Mind you, after I perform the jump outward to get the hit stun, after the hit stun, I'm not touching my control stick. After that, all you have to do is worry about slamming. So, just get the timing right. If you practice it enough, you'll figure it out. And again, this setup that I'm using is not the only way to do this. You can experiment for yourself and see which way it works for you. So I'm going to show you how to do it now. Okay, that time I wasn't pushing into the tube, or I just did it too late, so... That's what happens. All right, we're gonna go again. That time, I waited too long. You have to get it just right. So don't get upset if you get that. Don't realign your camera. It means you're you're probably fine. It just means that you have to readjust your slam. It's a multi-part glitch, and it all happens pretty quickly. So don't be discouraged if you can't get it on your first few tries. There you go. And now you will slide. But you want to make sure that whatever angle you're using... I usually aim for this area here because I won't slide and die into the water. Sometimes, when you do this, you'll land here and then you'll slide to your death. You'll land back here, you'll slide to your death. There's a spot here that works. I know Fuff uses this area here. So that's how you sponge glide to this island. The same concept is used here, except it's a lot easier. I usually just stand behind this red ring jump backward as far as I can without doing the bubble wand. And that will work if you stay closer to this tower. If you use the bubble wand, you'll die. I'm terrible at this one, actually. And that should work. It should send you into the trigger zone that will launch you to the pier. Alright, there you go. Alright, so what else have I 